When the war first ended, President Harry Truman faced the problem of reconverting the economy to peacetime production. Many people feared that the war's end might bring back the Great Depression. To ease returning veterans back into the workforce, Congress passed the GI Bill, which offered a low-cost education and low-interest loans to buy homes and start businesses. The GI Bill funded the construction of hundreds of thousands of small tract houses, which were not only affordable, but were made even more affordable by virtue of a loan program which eliminated the down payment so that for $100 you were given the key to a new home and the government insured the mortgage. Millions of veterans used their GI benefits to get good educations, buy a home, and enter the white-collar workforce. Easier access to higher education changed the face of the nation's colleges and universities and created the new perception that a college education was for everyone, not just the wealthy or super intellectual. Building on Roosevelt's New Deal, President Truman wanted the federal government to help provide what he called a fair deal for the American people. Truman pushed for a higher minimum wage, extended Social Security benefits to 10 million new workers, and fought for public housing and other programs to help the poor. The years following World War II also witnessed a series of breakthroughs for African Americans as Jackie Robinson broke the color line in Major League Baseball in 1947, and Ralph Bunch won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1950. Feeling a special moral obligation to African Americans for their patriotism in World War II, President Truman set up a Presidential Committee on Civil Rights, which soon called for laws to end lynching and segregation. Our immediate task is to remove the last remnants of the barriers which stand between millions of our citizens and their birthright. There is no justifiable reason for discrimination because of ancestry or religion or race or color. 